स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज एनसीआर एक्सरसाइज प्रॉब्लम 2.48 फ्रॉम पेज नंबर 72 ऑफ स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ एटम राइट सो लेट्स रीड दिस स्टेटमेंट इन एस्ट्रोनॉमिकल ऑब्जर्वेशन सिग्नल ऑब्जर्व फ्रॉम द डिस्टेंट स्टार्स आर जनरली वीक इफ द फोटोन डिटेक्टर रिसीव अ टोटल ऑफ थ्री पॉइंट वन फाइव इंटू टेन रेज टू पार माइनस एटीन जूल फ्रॉम द रेडिएशन ऑफ सिक्स हंड्रेड नैनोमीटर Calculate the number of photons received by the detector. In this question, they have just mentioned in astronomical observations there are some distant stars and signal received from these distant stars are quite weak. If a photon detector receives an energy of total three point one five into ten raised to power minus eighteen joule from a radiation whose wavelength is six hundred nanometer, you have to tell about the number of photons received by this detector, right? So for this question, we'll apply unitary method over here, right? So for this, first of all, we'll find the energy of one photon. I'll just mention the formula: energy of one photon energy is represented as e and it is given by the relation h nu now here we are having wavelength over here right so you can write over here in given values we are having wavelength that is 600 nano meter in this question i am having wavelength right so i have to modify my formula according to the given values now in this question i know that frequency can be represented by c by lambda right so e equal to h c by lambda now lambda is wavelength over here right you can write in bracket lambda is wavelength and c is velocity of light so velocity of light is represented by c and its value is 3 into 10 raised to power 8 meter per second h is planck's constant so its value is 6.626 into 10 raised to power minus 34 joule second if we see this velocity of light is in meter but wavelength is in nanometer so to make the calculations easy what we will do will simply convert this wavelength in meter now i know that 1 nanometer equal to 10 raised to power minus 9 meter put the value over here so 600 into 10 raised to power minus 9 meter right we'll put the value in the relation so e equal to h that is planck's constant 6.626 into 10 raised to power minus 34 Joule second into c is velocity of light three into ten raised to power eight meter per second divided by wavelength of this radiation that is six hundred into ten raised to power minus nine meter. I'll cancel second with second inverse meter with this meter. Right now three one the three three two hundred the 600 right i'll rearrange the values so e equal to 6.626 into 10 raised to power minus 34 into 10 raised to power 8 i am having 10 raised to power minus 9 in denominator when i'll take this value in numerator it will change its sign so it will be 10 raised to power 9 over here divided by 200 right and units joule only if we see 6.626 is smaller than 200 right so we have to make this value higher than 200 for this what i'll do i'll simply write this value as it is 6.626 into 10 raised to power minus 34 into 10 raised to power 8 into 10 raised to power 9 divided by i can write this 200 as 2 into 100 right If I want to write this hundred according to the scientific notation, it will be ten raised to power two, right? So you can write over here e equal to six point six two six into ten raised to power minus thirty four into ten raised to power eight into ten raised to power nine divided by two into ten raised to power two units. We are having joule when you will divide 6.626 with 2 your answer will be 3.31 uh, this n is to part 
is positive in denominator when i'll take this value in numerator it will change its sign so first of all i'll mention other powers 10 raised to power minus 34 into 10 raised to power 8 into 10 raised to power 9 this 10 raised to power 2 can be written as 10 raised to power minus 2 over here right these powers are in multiplication so you can simply add them so e equal to 3.31 now firstly write negative powers so 10 raised to power minus 34 minus 2 plus i'll mention positive powers over here plus 8 plus 9 over here right so e equal to 3.31 into 10 raised to power minus 34 minus 2 minus 36 8 plus 9 it will be plus 17 right minus 36 plus 17 it will be 3.31 into 10 raised to power minus 19 over here that means energy of one photon is 3.31 into 10 raised to power minus 19 right now we'll apply unitary method over here so total amount of energy received is Three point one five into ten raised to power minus eighteen joule. Right. To know about the number of photons, we'll apply unitary method over here. So you can write over here three point three one into ten raised to power minus nineteen joule energy is received. From photons. Equal to 1 and uh, 3.15 into 10 raised to power minus 18 joule energy is received from photons equal to the value on the right side is mentioned in numerator divided by the first value on the left side 3.31 into 10 raised to power minus 19 and uh, units i'll mention over here into second value on the left side 3.15 into 10 raised to power minus 18 joule i'll cancel joule with joule so 3.15 into 1 it will be 3.15 into 10 raised to power minus 18 now if you see this 10 raised to power minus 19 is negative in denominator. When I'll take this value in numerator, it will change its sign. So it will be 10 raised to power 19 divided by 3.31. When you'll divide 3.15 with 3.31, definitely your answer will be 0 0.952. These two powers are in multiplication. So you can simply add them 10 raised to power minus 18 plus 19, right? And the units we are having photons over here so 10 raised to power minus 18 plus 19 it will be 1 so 0 0.952 into 10 raised to power 1 i'll mention over here 10 raised to power 1 means it is 10 right so when you'll multiply 0 0.952 with 10 your answer will be 9.52 photons when you will round up this value it will be approximately 10 photons that means 3.15 into 10 raised to power minus 18 joule energy is received from 10 photons